Hey, what's happening everybody? Um, I got my axles drilled and tapped for the new studs, so uh, let's go check them out. So here's my axles. Um, there's the forward bolt pattern. We can't use that. Um, the only way you can use that bolt pattern is if you get different rims. And I uh, didn't want to get Ford rims on the back and Chevy rims on the front, which I know you can't mix up on the Camaro, the back rims with the front rims. It's just that two different matching wheels, whatever. I didn't want to have it. So uh, I drilled and tapped these at work. They let me do it. So these are half 20 threads. Um, I spaced them out evenly. Those are perfectly spaced. Well, technically perfect, but better than you can do it by hand. They're pretty straight. Um, I know this one is like, I had that face indicated, dead straight, but this one was out under th under five. Eh, it should be good enough. Um, I didn't really clean up the back sides. I should have. I can do that later. Um, clean up a thread, make sure I'm not cutting a new thread when I put the bolt in. So I'll do that all later. And then another thing I was concerned with is, uh, if I lean this on the side, is this boss right here to fit that hole there and I was looking it up people are saying that was a 70.6 millimeter uh, bore and then these are actually a 70.3 which point three I think is like 11 thou different somewhere around there so I think I won't need any kind of uh, any kind of uh, like concentric ring because that fits in like perfect so that is the stock Explorer size 70.3 I believe I didn't take calipers to it or nothing I'm just going off what the internet said I'm not even gonna do it right now because it fits the rims I'm not even gonna worry about it and uh, if we check out the bolt pattern you know, see if I can do this one-handed It should look pretty close. Holding the camera looking at it at the same time. Like I said, it was done on a CNC. Actually, no, I don't think I told you that, but it was done on a CNC. And as long as my numbers are right, the bolt pattern should be right. So uh, these should fit my rims perfectly. I just gotta start working on the rest of the axle. I think I have the teardown out right now. Uh, right now I'm tearing down the seven and a half. I'll have a video out, out on that soon-ish. But uh, just want to do a short video, see what I did here. Like this is the new one. This is the old one. I didn't have two old ones, so otherwise I just would have done that. I don't know how much this would cost at uh, your machine shop. You can always ask. It didn't take that long for me. I think the longest part was like grabbing the tools and programming it and setting it up and whatnot to run it. It doesn't take that long. But uh, yeah, if you want to run stock back rims, you probably are going to want to do this. Otherwise you can risk it and try drilling it yourself, but I, I kind of like don't recommend that at all. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what I got. So shooting this video, I didn't even know I had an audience. Well, if you can see her over there, just watching me, not even moving. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. So uh, if you have any questions, I'm gonna try to move along on this axle. Summer's running out of time, and uh, kind of want to get back on the road since I'm paying for insurance and whatnot. This is a streetcar. And uh, we'll test out the axle when I get it done. I want to do it proper, so uh, stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and uh, come back sometime. Mm -hmm.